Hey, welcome back to R. Today we're going to take a look at the Jurassic Attack card game by Ryan Gallers and Green Couch Games. So, nice box. Nice and colorful. Got dinosaurs on it. Always a plus. Open it up here. Instructions. Cards here. Let's, I believe are two decks. Yep. There's one deck and your other deck. All right. Instructions. Two pages. And some big pictures on there. So not not too complicated. You have the long introduction about Jurassic Attack. Two players face off in an epic head-to-head -head dino battle. All right. So the setup. Give one player the fossil deck. Give the other player the footprint deck. So footprint, fossil. So you'll be head-to-head. -head. Each player shuffles their own deck, plays it face down in front of them. Make sure each player has space to discard cards on the side of their deck and a score pile off to the other side. Okay, so you know, discard, score. And each player draws a hand of five from their deck. So let's do it this way. Let's be, we'll be green. We'll be the footprint deck. Hand of five. We would draw a hand of five. Okay, that's my hand. Their hand. And gameplay. The game is played in a series of rounds until one player has no more cards in either their hand or their deck. Each round consists of three phases performed in order. Number one, face off. Number two, fight. And three, finale. All right, face off. During this phase, both players select one or more cards from their hand, play them face down in front of themselves. The player who won the previous round must play their card first. The previous round ended in double knockout. The player who played the first round before that must play first again. Okay. Note, during the first round of the game, the player with the footprint deck always plays first. All right, so if a player plays more than one card, known as a pack, all cards in the pack must be compatible. For cards to be compatible, they must usually be dinosaurs of the same species. The only exceptions are certain cards with effects that specifically state otherwise. May pack with other dinosaurs. All right, so let's look at our hand here. We got ones, fours, twos. So he gains plus one frosty for each egg card your rival has in their pack. Same thing. This guy can pack with any other dinosaur except T-Rex and Spinosaurus. So you can pack him with anybody. And then now we got a Velociraptor here. At any time a raptor goes into a player's score pile, that player must discard a card from their hand, if able, and shuffle it into their draw deck. Okay, on the discard pile. That's odd. So we have some low cards here. So I don't know about eggs. I'm not sure what that means. So what I would probably do, I'd play a raptor. And this guy, I'd pack him. Uh, let's see what this guy has here. He's going to look. He has lots of eggs. Eggs can pack with any dinosaur if you win this fight. Put the eggs into your score pile rather than your discard pile. All right, so there's extra points. It's a lot of eggs. You have the apex, you win this fight. So it's got a bunch of eggs that kind of, it's not great, but I should have shuffled that. But anyway, so you can play this. <clears throat> Put these down, and the battle starts. I'm gonna flip them, I suppose. All right, to the fight. After both players played their cards face down, it's time to fight. Both players reveal their cards they played. 
Once all played cards have been revealed, apply effects the cards have. Each player then adds up the total ferocity from the cards they played. Taking into account any ferocity bonuses, player with a higher total ferocity wins the round. Both players tied, dramatic double knockout. All right, so we go to the battle phase. I'm like, ah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run this, I wanna pack. So I got five, right? Pretty good. He's just gonna play the Apex Spinosaurus. He wins the fight. So I believe this goes to discard. This will go to a score pile. So his score pile's here. So it looks like he has, I'm guessing, five points. We'll find out about that in a minute. All right, the final phase. In this phase, the player who won the round takes all cards of the rival. Play this round as them face up to their own score pile. And the player who won the round takes all their own cards. They play this round as them face up to their discard pile. Yeah, okay. Once the players won the round, place the cards in the score and discard pile. The player who lost the round draws cards from their deck until they're back up to five. The player who won the round has no cards left. At this point, they get to draw one card from the deck. Okay. So he's going to lose the next round. If there's a double knockout, all cards are played this round are added to the respective player's discard pile, except eggs, which are added to the respective score piles. Neither player draws any cards unless you have no cards left in hand. In which case, they get to draw one card from their deck. For the purpose of card effects, a double knockout is treated as if both players win the round. End of the game. Players will continue playing rounds above until at least one player has no more cards in their hand or their deck at the end of a round. When that happens, the game ends immediately. Both players then add up their point values, all the cards in their respective score piles. The player with more points wins. In the event of a tie, the player with the more cards in their score pile wins. So the next round will begin. So he won, so he doesn't get to draw. I lost two cards, so I would draw two cards from my pile. And just continue to play pretty much a war type game. So I got another Raptor and pack. Uh, this guy, so he gains plus one frosty for each egg card your rival has packed. So not knowing what they have, I would probably play the raptor. Actually, I wouldn't play the raptor. Play him and these two. Although I'm kind of thin on my deck. All this guy has eggs, he's just gonna play one because he can't win. Actually, no, oh yeah, can't pack with themselves. Flip them. He has an egg, zero power. This guy gets a bonus for eggs. Your opponent's control, three, four, five. Wins around. Gets this, it's only one point. We'll discard three cards. So it goes to the score pile. Let's go to the discard pile. Save over here. And now because he won though, he only has two cards. The opponent would draw one card. And he got to a, this guy. He's copies Frosty is equal to the total number of copy cards in this pack. All right, not looking good over here. So play continues back and forth until someone decks out or can't, um, doesn't even have any cards in their hand, which I guess is the same as deck out. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the cards. Pretty sure they're identical powers. Let's make sure. Take a look at the green deck here. Glavosaurus. How many dinosaurs we got? And the eggs. There's the T Rex. So 
So here are your dinosaur types. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Between the eggs, you have eight different types. So dinosaurs you can play, and of course they can pack and you get different bonuses. There's the T-Rex. <laughs> Always the star of the show. A T-Rex will not pack with any other T-Rex. May only pack with eggs. Okay. So they're not friendly. So that is the footprint deck. Now let's see if they're identical. So I'm pretty sure they are. Yeah, so you have the same cards in each deck. You kind of think you would put like one special card in for each deck, but they do not. So yeah, same cards in both decks. So it's a equal playing field. And if you like dinosaurs, it's not bad. I think I paid like 10 bucks, which is a little more than I would probably, this is more than probably I think a, a $5 price tag. It might be a little pricier because you know you have larger cards, the art's pretty good. And there, there's a little strategy to it, more than just playing highest number wins. Like you can pack your dinosaurs and play some eggs for extra points. But there is Jurassic Attack. Yeah, quick bonus, look at that. Get this lantern at Dollar Tree. Takes three uh, triple A's, which I've lost the <laughs> bottom cover to. But a little bit of light, a little bit of light. And then a whole lot of light. Not bad.